Mother's Day, it's right around the corner. Today, I'm bringing to you a DIY gift that makes for the perfect gift to give that special somebody for this Mother's Day. You'll wanna stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose, uh-huh, yes, in the drop-down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you two DIYs. One makes for the perfect Mother's Day gift to gift this year, in my opinion. And the second one is a better late than never spring DIY tile. So I'm gonna quit my Gavin. Let's jump into it and let's do some budget-friendly DIYing. So let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. For today's DIY tile, you're going to need some plaster of Paris and you can find this four pound carton at Walmart for about $6. This carton's going to make three tiles. So really, that's about $2 a tile. To mix this plaster of Paris, you're going to do two parts of plaster to one part water, which would be two cups of plaster to one cup of water. But for these tiles, because I like them on the thicker side, I know I'm being confusing. I'm gonna go with four cups of plaster to two cups of cold water. Now when mixing this, you are gonna wanna use cold water, not warm water. Ask me why, I don't know. I'm sure somebody out there knows. I just go according to the directions. And yeah, it says to use cold water. Once you add that water to the plaster, you're gonna wanna move a bit quickly because plaster starts to set rather quickly. Your plaster should set really within 45 minutes of mixing it with water, but as you mix it, you will see that it will start to thicken. So you really wanna get that plaster well incorporated with the water, get all the lumps out and get the plaster as smooth as you can get it. There is no special mold needed for this tile. All you're gonna need is one of these plastic containers from Dollar Tree that has this lid on it. We don't need the lid. We just need the container itself. It's the perfect size and shape for this tile. You're also gonna need some vegetable oil. This is perfect for just putting on a paper towel and lining your container with it because we don't want the plaster to stick to it. We want that plaster to slip right out of this container when it's good and dry. Once you've lined it with oil, you're gonna go ahead and just add that plaster of Paris to this container, and you will see that it is already starting to thicken up. So like I said, you do wanna try and move a bit on the quicker side to get this into your mold. Once you've got that plaster in your container, you are going to gently want to tap your container on a hard surface, and that is going to bring all the air bubbles up to the surface, which is going to give you a stronger tile. If you leave those air bubbles in your tile, it's going to compromise the integrity of it, meaning that it could make it a weaker tile and it could break. And we don't want that. We're putting some effort into this and we're probably gonna gift this to somebody. So we want it to be as strong as it can be. Why not? I find that using my spatula to kind of pop some of those bubbles once they come to the top, it helps. And again, to smooth out the plaster, if you just give your container a good shake, it's going to smooth it out. I'm gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes because in 15 minutes, we're gonna add some of these paper flowers that I found at Michael's to the plaster. We want the plaster just to set a bit and thicken up a bit so when we put our flowers in it, they don't sink in too deep. We want these flowers just to be in that plaster enough to give it dimension and for them to stick in there. We want these flowers to be built into the tile itself. I feel like that is what adds so much personality to this. 
Now that my flowers are added, I'm gonna let this sit overnight so this plaster really cures and hardens before I move on to painting it. Through the magic of video, look at that. It's overnight, our plaster is dry, and you can see that it easily pulls away from the container. So just by flipping it over, giving it a light press, it'll pop right out of the container, and look at that, we've got a tile. This tile, I don't want to go the route of painting it. I want it to have that weathered, aged leather look. So to do that, I'm going to use some of this Minwax wood finish stain. Yeah, that's right, wood stain in the color of Early American. Now, if Early American isn't the color for you, look at all these amazing colors that Minwax has that you can choose from. So just taking a paintbrush, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the Minwax wood stain to our plaster tile. You know me, I never use things for their intended use. I like to think out of the box. And by doing that, you can use something as simple as a wood stain to get a look or a texture that you otherwise couldn't get using paint. And so I absolutely love this color of Minwax. This early American stain is gonna go perfect with these flowers and it is gonna give me that weathered, aged leather look that I'm going for and you'll see that it quickly absorbs into the plaster and it dries rather quickly. There is no residue and there is no smell after I would say about a day. Look at how amazing that looks. I love the look and the texture of this. These flowers need some stems, so to do that, I'm gonna use this jute cord that I got in this two pound bundle from Walmart for about $3. The stems for these flowers is one of those instances where I thought I was gonna go one way and when I started doing it, I ended up not liking it and so I ended up going the route of using this cord. So if you go the route of using this cord, you can put the cord in the plaster the same time that you put the flowers, then in turn not needing to use the hot glue. But because it was, I guess, an afterthought, hot glue's gonna work for this and it's gonna get the job done. I wanted to add some color to the stems, so to do that, I'm gonna use some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of Fern. If I'm gonna paint burlap, you better believe I'm gonna paint twine or cord as well. This green is perfect. It brings out the leaves from the flowers and adds just a bit more pop of color to this tile that I was looking to add. As great as this is looking already, it's missing something. What is it missing? It's missing a twine bow at the base of those stems. So taking some of Dollar Tree's twine, this is a thinner twine. I'm doing it two strands thick. I'm gonna tie the perfect bow to add, yes, to the stem of these flowers. Perfect finishing touch. This tile, I'd say, is such a fun and different gift to give this Mother's Day. As that saying goes, better late than never. Yes, I'm bringing to you an Easter slash spring tile. That's not one that I did this year and I'm not quite sure why. I think the time just kind of got away from me. And so I wanted to show you an easy Easter tile that you can make using an item from the Dollar Tree that I think most of us got our hands on or still can get our hands on here before Easter this Sunday. Because I have a couple of these containers, I thought that it would be fun just to do a two-in-one tile video, because why not? Twine carrots are just what this tile needs. These are the jumbo carrots that come in a four-pack. Dollar Tree also has smaller twine carrots that come in a six-pack, you choose. Since I have the jumbo ones, I'm gonna use three of them and just hot glue them together. Is there ever really enough twine added to a DIY? The orange twine on these carrots just wasn't enough for me. I thought I'd go in with some of Dollar Tree's brown twine and add it to the bunch of carrots because every bunch of carrots needs to be held together with twine, right? Where are these carrots going? On our tile. Yes, after I let the plaster set for about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and place my carrots right into my tile. And I'm gonna let these sit overnight just to let that plaster get good and hard so I can go ahead and paint it or stain it through the magic of video. Look at that. It is night and we are done. 
our tile is good and dry and ready to be taken out of this container. But you will see in this instance, yeah, my edges didn't come out completely smooth, but that's an easy fix. Just by running your finger along the edges there, you can get some of that extra stuff off. And if you want to smooth it out, take a real fine grade sandpaper and just kind of run over those edges and you can sand plaster. Just don't sand too much just to level out those edges a bit. And to this tile, I am, I'm gonna go in with Minwax's Early American Stain and add it to this plaster as well too because it is my new favorite thing to add to these tiles. And well, that seems to be the theme of today's DIY tiles is adding the Minwax to it. I love the look of it, it's very rustic. Oh wait, I almost forgot. This bunch of carrots, it needs to be finished off with one of my twine bows as well. How cute is this? Quick, easy, budget friendly, and the outcome is so stinking cute. I love it. Although there's a simplicity to this tile, it screams Easter, and sometimes less is more. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Carolyn Evans, who's bringing to us this oldie but goodie. Carolyn, thank you so much for doing this recreation and sharing it with us today. This wall tile series, probably to date, is one of my favorite series to bring to you all because I love the versatility of the tiles. I can really get creative with them and I'm having a lot of fun creating these tiles and making my own collection. And I hope it's a series that you're enjoying as well. And if any of you are making these tiles, please send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram because I want to see your creations. That flower tile, in my opinion, I think it makes for the perfect gift to give that special someone this Mother's Day. Instead of giving them a fresh bouquet of flowers, give them a bouquet of flowers on a tile. I guarantee they're going to love it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. You know what I'm gonna say? Stay positive, please.